everyone. I am your average gamer. Thank you for watching. Let's get into the video. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Let's see what we have going on this time. Got some dueling gloves. Nice. Revelio. Okay, there's another secret door. I probably don't have the required spells, but let's just check. Lumos. secret we'll have to look into later. Got a lot of locked doors. Oh, this gate doesn't open. I feel sorry for your next opponent. Just wait till I've grown a bit, then we'll see how well you do. I guess these are the ones that we just dueled in our last episode. Got birds flying in the distance over there, or owls, I'm not sure. Sorry about the stuttering. I'll try to take this part out of the video if I remember. Pay particular attention to the strings in this next piece. Your heart will soar. Is that one of this paintings talking? Not sure. Oh, Peeves. Where's Peeves? Oh. I just got eaten by a frog. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I just almost died. Where is Peeves? Missed him. I can hear him, but I don't see him. <laughs> I'm trying to find what Peeves is doing, but wait, oh, there he is. Okay, I think he's gone now. He was up on the balcony up there. Can pet the little kitties. All right. Revelio. 
Let me just open this one. Okay. Hey. There's a chest up there in the rafters. Levioso. Revelio. Honeydupe's passageway? Oh, really? Hidden behind the statue of the One-Eyed Witch is a secret passage from Hogwarts to the cellar of Honeydukes. Oh yeah, in the books. They have a secret passage behind this witch, and they can go to Hogsmeade, the sweet shop in Honeydukes. I wonder if that's actually a thing here. But you need to know a certain charm. Obviously I don't know any, so I can't test that out right now. Oh, we got the moving staircases. I don't have Accio. So I might not be able to get those flying pages yet. Oh, we have another puzzle door. Alright, again, I don't know the value just yet. But if you need to get a value of 6, and we have 4 already, then that symbol up there must equal, like, 1, or possibly 2, and then there's another symbol that equals 0. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So one of them is going to equal 5, and one of them equals 2 or 0. But we can figure out which one equals 5 if we get this door. But I'm not sure where the second number is for it. Got one right here. How inconvenient travel was before Revelio. I invented blue powder. Is this the second one? Yeah. Alright, this might take a bit of back and forth. Let's pretend that the unicorn equals 5. If that's the case, then one of these would equal like 0 or 2. No? Alright, not the unicorn. Got the Hydra. I guess I forgot to test everyone. Anyway, I think it made the revealing sound when I had the right combination. Handy resource indeed, Handy your field resource. guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Testing out that starfish symbol or whatever it is. Didn't seem right. Let's 
got his books flying around his head. That's pretty cool. Oh. What's this guy? Some kind of alien, looks like. Probably not what it's supposed to be, but... Architect. What are you up to now? That one either. That was everything. Maybe I have to actually try the door in between each, which is kind of annoying. I forgot to do that. Okay, one more time through of trial and error. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I've always said that travel broadens the Oh, there we go. Okay. So, if my theory is correct, then that starfish guy down at the bottom equals the number five. Let me double check. Yeah. I mean, I guess it makes sense. He has five legs. And then this guy equals one, zero, or two. Not sure which one. Okay, well, we'll have to see if that theory pans out. landscape painting and some gloves.
Alright, so if you didn't want to watch that whole thing, let's see which door this is. Where are we at currently? Right next to the grand staircase flu powder. So the grand staircase puzzle door. Got this little guy up at the top. Handy resource indeed. Followed by the starfish down here. Pleased to be included. Alright. Took a little bit of trial and error, but we made it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all again, and as always, have a good day.